Yo, what's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart. I'm back. Okay, so we're gonna check out this Captain Marvel trailer, like the first trailer they've done. But it's not a teaser, it says official trailer. All right. Okay. Damn. Blockbuster. Yeah, this is like a nineties or something. War is a universal language. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Never occurred to me that one might come from above. Space invasion. Yeah, but this was a uh, field. Big car chase. Truth be told, I was ready to hang it up till I met you today. Nick Fury! Oh, you're not from around here. It's hard to explain. I keep having these memories. I see flashes. Yeah, when you're Carol Danvers. I think I had a life here. Yeah. But I can't tell if it's real. Oh. When it was House of M. I think they're fusing like the House of M and the uh, Earth 616 together. We have no idea what threats are out there. The scroll, the creep. We can't do this alone. We need you. Binary! No, no, no. Oh, what? I'm not what you think I am. Binary! Ooh! Sick, sick, sick. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was sick. They did little hints in it. They, they show you things, but you don't know what you're looking at, but... Oh, shit! Of course! So I don't know what they're doing. I, I, I'm a bit confused basically because Carol Danvers, yeah, she used to be in the military, yeah, and she was godlike. Even when she was a normal human, yeah, she was still godlike. She, she was still going on missions with like, um, um, Captain America and, um, Spider Man and like, like she was like still, she was like on missions, like, and all that kind of stuff, like back in the day. You know, um, before she like joined NASA because she was like in the, some kind of like mad program or something like that. Um, and that's what, well, the thing is with her, they had rewritten her story a couple times. So I'm not too familiar with, her. well, I do know her new story, but because they've changed her story so many times, I'm not too sure exactly her story. Because the original story that I know basically is when she got her powers from uh, basically the Kree Marvel. Basically, that's the one I know. Yeah, and it altered her DNA. No, no, no. That was one where he gave her his powers because he was dying. And then there was another story where her powers, um, her DNA got f um, fused, infused with his powers. Basically, um, and she got made into like a hybrid superhuman, um, superhuman Cree hybrid basically um yeah oh you saw some shit in there man wow you see nick fury it's like she's got like all like the concussion blasts and everything like straight away not straight away but it's like oh let me look at it again Cause I, you don't know what that is. When she crashes into Earth, you don't know what that is. Because this woman has been kidnapped by so many people and experimented on so many times. God knows what event that is happening when she's crashed into Earth. I don't even know what story that is. Which one, which one is it that she was kidnapped and experimented on? But what I think is because she said, I have memories 
of when I was uh, when um, I was on Earth, but I don't know if they were real or not. That is when um, there was like a story with the House of M, like like one of the best stories was the House of M and Earth sixteen um, six hundred sixteen basically six one six. Basically, they got fused together, basically, um, and it wiped out the reality of like the Scarlet Witch and that Earth, and it became normal. But people still had the memories of um, House of M and Earth um, 616. Basically, she's saying, I have memories, but I don't know if they're real or not. And that was her when she was in the army, when she was training. Because she used to train herself up because her dad was a prick, basically. So she wanted to try to prove it to her dad. And she was like sick. She was in S.H.I.E.L.D. when she was a normal human. She was in NASA on like mad elite space programs she was like um she was sick man when she was a normal hero i'm talking before she was she got like the power from um what's it called again marvel basically and that's when she was miss marvel she was miss marvel and then Rogue took her powers. I don't know if this is still even included in the law, but this is from the one I know, where Rogue stole her powers, basically, and they were basically shared with one body. You know what I mean? Like, they had an entity, so they couldn't be too far apart, because if they were too far apart, basically, then one would start decaying. Like, either Rogue would start decaying, or she would start decaying. So um, there was only enough power to sustain one being, you know? And then, like, madness happened to her, um, whatever, Rogue beat her, basically. I think it was, I think they fought in the Savage Lands or something like that. Because Magneto helped Rogue and that beat her, basically. But she did manage to survive, even though she was decomposing. I can't remember how she survived, right? And then, she... She, I don't know what happened, but she got um, kidnapped, I think. No, I think that was the one where... What's his name again? A Kree. Some Kree guy helped her or something like that. And then she got um, control of her mental state because she had, like, split personalities. And then she became binary. Like, binary because, like, some people... I can't remember who they were, yeah. Some mad group, like the Brood Queen or something, basically kidnapped her and she they kidnapped her i did experiments on her or something like that and it, uh, it basically because her genes are already she's got like absorption ability yeah and her her genes have been altered so she can actually absorb shit and she basically her uh, already gen enhanced genetics got um enhanced with the power cosmic so she got cosmic power, and that's when she became binary. And you see when she's glowing like that? That's binary power. That's cosmic fucking power. That's sick. Interesting. And she's got like the Marvel outfit. Like that is like Marvel's outfit. Except that the color's different, because Marvel one was like red, gold, and black. And so straight away, she's Captain Marvel. There's no Miss Marvel. Straight off the bat, Captain Marvel. No wasting time. Ugh. I see it. She, that's why she's shield. But I don't you know. Her hair's long. So it's, she's Captain Marvel. Sick. Because she was in shield. She was a shield operative. Yeah, that was like that. What was that? Is that a, is that a Kree or a scroll? And she um, Nick Fury is there, and he's got like a laser gun or something like that. And this was back in the fucking eighties or nineties. Nick Fury knows some shit, bro. Ugh. I like the fact that it's set in like 80s or 90s or whatever it is. <laughs> Nick Fury. Yeah, you were there, girl. Yeah, Carol Danvers.
yeah and you saw it like she fell on the floor and basically it says like there's something with her hand basically that's when she got fused with the power of marvel oh no one second she did get her powers did get like where is that because I do remember when she first got her abilities from Marvel and she was Miss Marvel, she had like two personalities and she could not control her power. And that's why they kicked her out of the um the Air Force. Oh shit, what is happening? Oh, that's the Finny! Wait a second. As I said, she's been kidnapped so many times. God knows, that might be when they experimented her on her, on like the, the um, there was a, something imaginary machine, like it's a machine that can, it can alter reality or something like that, and that, that fucked with her powers, that fucked with her body, just after she lost her powers, basically, because she lost her powers, basically, because of Rogue, and then that's when they, they captured her and experimented on her, and it, um, her, she did, because of her genes, even though she's lost her powers, Miss as Miss Marvel, you gotta remember, her genes are Cree genes. She's a hybrid. She always she still had the power in her genes. She just didn't have the ability to fly. She didn't have the concussion blasts. She didn't have the um, superhuman strength, but she still had those genes. That's why that machine, basically the power the ability to alter reality or whatever, mixed with the power of cosmic, gave her her powers back and binary. Even though I'm talking like this, I still can't don't consider myself a Captain Marvel guy. It's just stuff you know in it if you've been reading for years and years. So, yeah. Yeah, and that's in, in, in uh, uh, when she was in space, because that's how she first um, met um, Cap um, Captain Marvel when she was in like the in NASA. Are those, are those the scrolls? The scrolls, dude. This is gonna be fucking crazy. Uh, what is his name? Oh, I wish I could remember his name. And he was in Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, he's real. I can't remember his name, but he is real. Because he was one of the people that helped her um, get her memories back. Oh man, binary! That's like the cover of Captain Marvel outfit. Oh my god, wow. That's binary, bruv. Sick. I look, it's, I think it's like Captain Marvel's colours. I, I don't know if I'm looking, am I looking at black, golden? It looks like I'm looking at black, gold, and red. You know what it is? I don't think it is. I think that's just the normal Captain Marvel. But it's a shout out to where her powers are from. Because Miss Marvel's not there. And she's got the eight way star. Eight pointed star. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, the eight point star. Marvel. See. Wow, that's a pretty good trailer actually. That is a godlike trailer. It had enough, but it's they had a lot more for geeks. I can look, I see it in it. That trailer is for geeks. Fucking good trailer, dude. That had a lot. I need to remember stuff. I've still got all the comics actually. But the thing is you have to go through them. Because I don't actually have well, I do have actually some Captain Marvel, so I have to dig it up. Oh, I can't bother. Yeah, that was it was good. That was a fucking good ass trailer, dude. Wow, very impressive. I didn't think I was going to be impressed by that, but it's actually really, really good. Love that. Love that. That's really good. Godlike, godlike trailer, man. Yeah. Sorry. So that was me. Yeah. Um. Breaking down the Captain Marvel trailer. Man, yeah, he saw like a lot of good shit in there, man. So blockbusters, stop. Man, just he just starts off with crashing into Earth, 
And you don't know what I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Because she's been kidnapped so many times by different alien races and experimented on and modified and fucked with so many times there's no way you can know what this is about but when she said um, I don't know it's complicated I don't know whether I've been here whether it was a dream or not you can tell that they're pulling from different Marvel materials to make this so you can't look at the comic books and then say this is what they're doing I we have to just look at it and this is what they're doing I can look at it if I find out more I can tell you what stories they're pulling from right because I know all the stories but um, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Maybe even that could be the Star Jammers, and they've just changed up the Star Jammers because she has binary already. She's got the cosmic power with Captain Marvel ability, and she crashed from Earth with it. So that might those might be the Star Jammers. Oh. And wait a second. It's her fingerprint. Basically, there's the bit where she puts her fingerprint on a sensor and it actually reads her fingerprint. Oh no. No. One second. Yeah. Yeah, because she was a high level officer, basically, back in the day. Yeah, good trailer. Very good trailer. That's how you fucking break the internet. Not with fucking pictures. Just release the shit. Don't say nothing. Like we're going to break the internet or any that kind of shit. Just pr pull out the team and let the people decide. Sit. I like it. I like it. I don't like all that stuff where they're going, she's going to be the powerfulest Marvel hero or let's break the internet. I don't like all that shit. Yeah, just put out the team. Yeah, and let the team do its work. That's it. Put the trailer out and let me decide whether it breaks the internet or not. Yeah, do the movie. Let me see if she's the strongest or not. If it's justified or are you just making her the strongest just for the sake of making her the strongest or are you making her strong for a political statement or what are you doing it for? Just do the character, do her, do what Captain Marvel is, done. Done. It does look good, man. Wow. I want to watch this movie, man. I really want to watch this movie now, man. Holy shit. Binary! Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Carol Danvers, I see you. I see you. Yeah, that is hype, man. Binary. That's the best thing, man. That is the best. If for me, it's sick, because I know what I'm seeing. If you don't know what you're seeing, then people are not going to know what it is, innit? They're going to talk shit saying that it's copying Marvel, it's copying, copying DC, like, she's like some Superman clone, or she's like the Green Lantern, or she's just like a Starfire, copying Starfire, or some shit, or whatever but if people know what's up yeah they're gonna click through this and just look i can see there's a lot of things to dissect in this thing as well actually but i don't have the x i don't have the depth of knowledge to break everything down and you already know by now i'm not a research guy i ain't gonna go onto the internet and um, research everything i'm just gonna talk off what's on top of my brain look and maybe even some of the information i've said right now is incorrect oh is what it is you know but um because i'm going from knowledge from when i used to read it from a long time ago you know but yeah 
I like it. I like it. I hope they put that all into this, like proper good story, everything. It's got the Kree and the scrolls in it, so it's got to be godlike. She's already got um, competition in the scroll. Do you know what I mean? So it don't even matter. They've got the, you could clearly see there's the Kree's Kree's in there. You already see that the scrolls are in there. So already she got godlike competition. It's not like it's gonna be like her versus humans and her versus politics or whatever. Let's let's see it. Let's see it. Okay, that trailer was godlike. I give it my stamp of steel of approval. If I had to give that trailer a rating, I'd give that trailer a fat 8 out of 10. Let's go. I hope they release this movie before um, Guardians of the... Um, sorry. Infinity War 2. So, yeah. Warriors, I want to hear what you guys think of this trailer. Um, did you see anything that I spot? Did I make any mistakes? Please correct me if I made any mistakes in terms of my references or anything that I said. Um, yeah, Warriors, good to see you guys. And yeah, I'll be doing another video. I've got some videos coming up, basically, because I got a tattoo, basically. And I did like a little breakdown of when I got the tattoo and all that type of good stuff. Do you know what I mean? So I want to show it to you when it's healed, right? You know what I mean? So I did it before I got it, and yeah. I mean, at the moment, it's in the skin peeling process. So at the moment, the skin is peeling, and it looks kind of gruesome right now. You know, so I don't think you guys want to see that, you know. But, um, yeah. Until my next video, stay blessed, take care. Next time I'm going to do a video is in a couple of days' time, where I'm going to, obviously, of course, the tattoo and stuff like that. But I'm going to do Devil May Cry, because Dante, they're going to be showing Dante at Tokyo Game Show. So I'm going to be doing some videos about that stuff. All right, worries. Stay blessed, take care. Catch you later, and continue to be great. Laters.